contrary to popular belief, the numbers which were on the board are not the main thing that I'm looking for. I'm looking for the process, okay? So for that reason, I want to remind you, and I want to see if you're on the same page with me, you've got six things that have been asked of you here, and there are six different ways to find each. So let's begin at the left-hand side. Most recently, we looked at spheres. The surface area of a sphere. What is this? How do you read that? 4 pi... What's that? That's the, that's the R squared, isn't it? And of course, you had to notice you provided diameter, so you had to halve it to get the radius. So, big tick. Are we happy with that number? Yep, yep. 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 Great. Okay, now this monstrously long number, again, I'll come to whether it's correct or not, but where does it come from? What is the formula for the volume Very good. Four thirds pi r cubed. Does it check out? Do you get that? Yeah. Yeah? Fantastic. Okay. Now just a quick note. The radius we've already got is 150. When you cube that number, uh, you get a number with actually lots of zeros on it. You get a very round figure. However, this answer is not round. Does anyone know why it's not a round number? Like a nice sort of easy with lots of zeros, like 22 million or something like that. Pi. Yeah, very good. It's this guy, isn't it? Pi is a weird number. It's decimal points. They go on forever and they never, ever, ever repeat, which is crazy when you think about it. Uh, which is why you can do cool things like find your birthday or your phone number in Pi. It's in there somewhere. There are websites that can do this for you. So, can I get a show of hands? Who agrees? Who agrees? One, four, one, three, seven. Yep, yeah, got a few. Yep, yeah, excellent. Thank you. Hands down. Okay, let's have a look at this, uh, this code here. So, this one was also one of the tricky ones. Let me remind you, the surface area of a cone has two parts. It's got the bit on the bottom, which is a... Uh, it's just a circle, so therefore it's pi r squared. But then you've got this weird part that we constructed. The What would you call that again? Sector. You, it becomes a sector. I suppose the name of it is it's the curved surface area, as opposed to the flat part. Do you agree with that? Um, do you remember? What was that component? Pi r l. Which is why, that's a stinky one. Right? That's the slot height, right? So that's the 10 here. So that might mean, did anyone get a different number for this? So Mark, what did you get? Uh, 537.21. Okay, now can I just stop? Can you put your pens down? Because this is a really, I'm so glad that this answer is here. Okay? Put your pens down, I want you to make a note of this. When I asked you to come up to the board, I said, hey, don't worry, we're in a bit of a hurry, not much space, don't include your work it's fine. Well, if you do, no big deal. But if you were doing this in your book, I expect every single one of you should have this line, or at least this line with numbers in it, before you get to the punchline. Here's why. Something has gone awry here. That's fine, things happen all the time. There's lots of things to substitute, there's lots of places this could have gone wrong on our calculator, whatever. If the only difference was a single number that was input incorrectly, but everything else is fine. Chances are, this would be a two mark question. If I was putting this in a year 10 5.3 exam, I'd put two marks on it. And someone who has this as their answer, but has shown me they're working, and shows me they get it, they've just made a minor error, is going to get a mark. However, if all you've got is an answer, I can only see that it's wrong and there's no other evidence as to, like, where'd you get this wrong? Did you guess it? Did you just punch random numbers in your calculator? I, as the marker, can't tell. So that's why this line is really important. This line can still get you a mark if I can see where it came from. Does that make sense? Yeah? Working? Really important. Uh, volume. I checked that one out myself. I was just punching around in there. What is the volume of a cone again? What are we, what's the format? It's a third? Pi r squared h. And hopefully you recognize that part there as just a cylinder. And this is just a third of that to create the pyramid type shape. Okay, the last one was the easiest. Surface area. Um, what's going on here? I love that the working is here. And I love that there are these brackets here, which aren't necessary, but they're meaningful. What does it mean? Yeah. Let's try to find yeah. the um, area of one of the faces. Perfect. Absolutely. So. Every face here is the same because it's a cube. So even though adding those brackets doesn't change the number, it helps us see, oh, that's one thing. And then he's multiplied by six. Why six? Six faces. Six faces. Perfect. Um, so, big tick. Volume is pretty straightforward. Bang, bang, bang. It's a rectangular prism. In fact, it's just they all happen to be the same. 